A very pleasant good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the People's Forum of In the Streets with Big Stone. Today ladies and gentlemen, it is with deep regret I announce the passing of legendary iconic singer Junior Biles, father Kenneth Biles. Now ladies and gentlemen, I had the opportunity of speaking with the senior Biles about two years ago when I went in searching of the legendary singer Junior Biles. We had a wonderful conversation together, ladies and gentlemen. We spoke about how these songs came about, the legendary songs of Junior Biles, songs like Beat Down Babylon, songs like A Place Called Africa, songs like Fade Away, and of course, songs like Curly Locks. We had a wonderful time talking. His daughter Janet Biles was there, and we had a great time. So ladies and gentlemen, we wish the family all the best during their time of bereavement. Janet spoke to me this morning. I asked her permission if it's okay to repost this beautiful video that we did with Juna Biles' father, Kenneth Biles Sr. Kenneth, I had a wonderful time talking to you. You're 98 plus when you passed away yesterday, July 30th. My heart is with the family. My love is with the family at this time. And of course I know you're resting because you have gave the world a treasure that is still alive. And I hope we do treasure this treasure. And I'm talking about Junior Bars. Thank you very much for sharing your life with us. Thank you very much for being that special person that you were, Mr. Kenneth Biles. May your soul find eternal peace and rest. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the interview that I had with Kenneth Biles Sr., the legendary father to Junior Biles. Please watch and enjoy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are at the home of the legendary Junior Biles. No, Juno Baez has been an all-time favorite artist of mine. I grew up, even though I'm just about eight years younger than Junior, I'm 60 years old in July, but I grew up listening to Fade Away, Curly Locks. There's a place called Africa, Beat Down Babylon, and all them great, great songs. And it is an honor for me to be able to meet the founding father of Junior. Uh, why you think he's called Junior Baez is because there's a senior Baez. Yes. And this is Kenneth Biles, the father of Junior Biles. And of course, that's Janet's sister over there. Now, the reason for me coming here is because I've been a fan of Junior for so long. And in oftentimes, how they project Junior is like they just want to come and use him as they see hey, fit. Oh, the and when they use him and use him, there's not much monetary that they need for Junior help him because Junior's not well right now. Let's steal him on it. So because and Junior's is not well right now, we need the fans out there to reach out to the only true source. Every other source that deals with Dean is a counterfeit source. If you're not dealing with Janet or his bigger sister or bigger sister Vivian. You're not dealing with anybody else. I'm gonna post the numbers. Janet already gave you her number. I'm gonna post the number down at the bottom of the description. And these are the people you can keep in touch with and, and connect whenever you want to connect with Junior. Mr. Kenneth Biles, how are you today? 97 years old, ladies and gentlemen. And he doesn't look a day over 30. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel today? You cock up your foot and you relax and... You know, I've been, I've been um, on the road all day. Uh -huh. This daughter mm -hmm. had a full day with me of all the, you can call it the doctor. <laughs> And a specialist. Uh -huh. Janet. Do, yes. She, oh. she is a champion wow. to look after her father. The others do too, you know. Of course, of course but they the do. The trouble is that she's not working, so she has more time than of the course, others. Of course, of course. And, and this evening, ladies and gentlemen, when I pulled up in front of you, <laughs> I have to share this with you. Uh, when Janet came and she saw these robust men, you know, Asking about Junior, she was like very defensive and you know, she was turning in her face and I can just imagine because I guess she's tired of the onslaught of people coming in and all they come with is to take from Junior. They don't come with an idea, they don't come with a cause, 
they don't come with a solution to elevate Junior. Junior is not a poor man. Junior is a multi-billionaire. And for that status, Junior should be driven by limousine, the red carpet should be rolled over for him all over the world. It should be done now that he's not so well. And that's why we're here today. Um, your son Junior Bass. Where were you when he was writing all them big songs like Fade Away and right, A Place right. Called Africa? And I, 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 <laughs> you, you, the man, should have been as you said, millionaire. He is a billionaire. Not to, remember, we're not talking about money that is to come in. We're talking about money that is already out there. Yes, yes. Money that the, the, that radio station owe him, money that is publishing, money that is royalties. These money are out there. I know that. Too. They understand? And, and, and I'm a victim ambassador. I'm the kind of person that believes. See, uh, if you can look, you can see I have Marcus Garvey and my chest right there yes. to the Imperial Majesty. I, yes, yes. Uh, my sister is Janet Sinclair that used to write advice to the love lawn. And, and we are the kind of persons that we go out there and we try to make sure that justice is served. And that is what I'm all about, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Tell me about a little bit of the early days with Junior. What kind of young man Junior was? He was a gifted person. Uh -huh. I got four of the best jobs as a young man could expect. Uh -huh. But somehow he did keep her. But we didn't realize that his head was uh -huh. part of it. Okay. He worked with the fire brigade. He was a fireman at one time? Yes. Twice. <laughs> that is the other the legendary Unabars was a fireman at one time? Wow. He worked with Dennis and Gettys. Uh-huh. And that was a good job. That was a good job. Mm -hmm. yes. And there was another firm somewhere taking Agri-Park Road that did mach machine that what said the machine did it. And got a job for him. Uh, Stayed a few months. Well, singing was his passion. Singing was his passion as Janet Singing says. was his passion. So what, you used to sing around the house, Janet, you can remember, right? As far as I can as remember. As far as that. She was like, how old he was at the time he was telling me about what, 10 years old? I don't know, 10 years old, yes, when he really, started, when he really when he started going, going off, you know? She's okay. so young and he's so old. Now, you know, he's almost 70, you know, 69. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I just told him I was born 1957. Well, so I'll be 60 in July. I'm proud of my age. Of course, <laughs> yes, right. You're good too. Thank you very much. Um, so Juno growing up and he had these four jobs, but you know music was was his passion and always been. A matter of fact, a while ago um, I was talking to Janet and he started to, and I said, Janet, after I finished speaking with her, I said, Janet, what's your all time favorite Juno Biles? And ladies and gentlemen, it brought me to tears because Janet said that and Juno was sitting right there, you know, they're relaxing and he just started to sing the song and it did something for me because he sings it with such spirituality and such passion, you know what I mean? You we can need see, it's only that is not capable of going on stage and it's see records that not selling like one time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you go on the stage one time, you could hurt one year of royalty from record. Ah, but let me tell you something though. I want to update you on that though, Mr. Biles. Junior's song, every time it's played on the radio station, it makes money. We know that. We right? Know, know. And it plays on every radio station right around the world. Beautiful. So you know how much you, you know. know much yes, yes, I know. I know. Uh, you can call the country and... Yeah, you can call the country and the song is there. Favorite yes. So, so what I'm saying, and I'm looking directly into the camera, and I'm appealing to, to, to the minister, the Honorable Babsy Grange, it is your portfolio now. Um, look seriously into this. Come and visit with the family. They're still here. Daddy Biles, Senior Biles is still here. Kelty at 97. Janet is still here. Vivine is still available to you. So you have to go looking for them. They're here, right in Kingston. Come, look for them, spend some time with Junior, because guess what? Junior still has a wealth of knowledge 
that we can impart to young songwriters, we can impart those knowledge to young singers, because the kind of music that is being played and being portrayed, we see the outcome. Last year we had over 1,350 people killed. This year it's well over 400 people killed. And I'm sure, so far, and I'm sure if they was listening to Juno by his fade away or Curly Locks or, or Beat Dung Babylon, they would not have been doing all these negative things. Because these are, these are revolutionary songs. These are, these are, I want how Juno really get. Where, where, where do you think a song like Fade Away really comes from, Mr. Miles? I don't know for sure. I'm going to have to ask Juno that, if he can remember what kind of song. Because that, that song... It has to do with his wife. I think it had to do with his, his wife. You think so? Uh, yes, yeah? man. I no. think it, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. Mm. It wasn't a love situation? I think so, yeah. But yeah. I say no. What makes you say it wasn't there, Mr. Vibes? <laughs> because um, he's been in the limelight all his life. You know when you talk about Be The Mabula? Mm -hmm. Because when... Michael Manley yes. was getting into power. Mm -hmm. He had him on every platform that he was yeah, keeping. You're kidding me. Yes. Yeah. And when people said, Who oh, yeah. do We don't have it in this yeah. police. Michael Manley got to work and write one big thing in the, the papers. So no Babylon is this, this and backing him. Yes. yes. Because he yes, was campaign, working for him. Wow. Wow. He oh, built through the mills. He built through the mills, as his father said. And I'm here to say, at age 69, I think he should be treated royally. I think it's time for Jamaica to wake up. Um, we've seen it too often. Um, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, the one that sings, up. Send me the pillow that you lean on. You remember that artist? They had to practically take up a collection to, and, bury, him. to bury him. So you know what I mean? And, 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 and these songs send me the pin of a, a million dollar selling songs. You know? Scully. Scully from Bunny and Scully was just buried the same day that um Ed Fitzroy was buried. And Scully died a poor man. So I'm saying, how can these artists sell millions of millions and millions and millions of records? People are still dancing to their songs as if it's yesterday. They, he didn't have the right person to take care of the so. financial side. side of it. But guess what, Mr. Barnes? There is a God Almighty, there is a God up above. Oh, we know that for sure. And you're here still, and Janet is here, and that's why we say their names so many times. Janet is here still as his younger sister. Um, Vivine. Vivine is there also, yeah, so Mama we definitely, was, was yeah, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, I'm here sitting with the legendary Juno Biles father, senior Kenneth Biles, well done, well done. and um, it's always a pleasure, like I say, to come out and do the right thing and to make sure that the right people get their reward. Thank you very much for talking to me, Mr. Biles. Anybody you want to shout out to in parting, your daughters and so on? I have a big family and I, they, they all love you and I love them very much. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is where it started for Juno Bar. This is where um, Beat Down Babylon come from. This is where um, Fade Away come from. This is where Curly Lacks come yeah, from. Yeah. This is where all of Juno's DNA come from. The somebody, father. somebody in England came here, uh -huh. had him see <coughs> go back to England and say that um, Cut a record out too. And Vivian kept in touch with them. Mm -hmm. I said, payment of a couple of pounds. Yeah. That's the okay. okay. There is a person that used to be in Jamaica named Sub Lee. Lee is the person that they it all the money off of. All the artists, including Bob Marley, every artist in the, because in the early days he had a little studio. Okay, okay. And he, he's worse than that Joe, you know. Wow. But you a white girl, mm -hmm. and somehow he was a multi, multi millionaire. Thank you very much. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, senior buyers, Mr. Kenneth. Thank you very much for what you are doing. Thank you very I'm much, done. sir. Thank you.
It's from my heart. I love you. Special, special thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you.